Hello everyone. I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed with life today, so I'm gonna do this sitting down. And I really hope it's gonna be a pep talk for you as much as it will be for me. Please note that I look hunched over the whole time because my elbows were resting on my knees. I considered redoing the whole thing, but you know what? So, back before I hiked the PCT, when I was obsessively researching how not to quit, I watched one of Dixie's videos on YouTube and she said something that stuck with me. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. It puzzled me because I really had no idea whether I could or couldn't do this. If someone had asked me, do you believe in yourself, I would have replied, uh, yeah, I guess. It took me months of preparation and about 2,000 miles of hiking to be able to say, I know I can do it. I must have been on Bridge of the Gods by then. So here's three ways to help you believe in yourself more than I did at the beginning. The first way to build belief is to strengthen your skill set. What gap can you fill in your skill set in order to achieve your goal? To help you here, you can make a list of all the skills you think are required for the true hike of your choice. From the general stuff like backpacking experience and good fitness level to the more specific like river crossing, backcountry first aid, and more. Next to each of these items, you can rank yourself from 1 to 10 and you'll quickly see what you need to work on. Then ask yourself where you can go and who you can talk to in order to develop those skills. Is there a course you can sign up to, um, books you can read, people you can talk with? Can you go for coffee or even a backpacking trip with someone who's been there and done it? Beware of the siren song of great gear. It's easy to create a semblance of confidence by researching and buying the best gear on the market. But that's only superficial. Great gear is not what's gonna keep you safe. Strong skills will. If a warrior goes to battle with a bow and arrow that they don't know how to use, I don't think they're gonna feel very confident. So if you have to choose where to spend your money, you're better to sign up to a course than to buy the most expensive puffy on the market. I know it's tempting though. If I take myself as an example, I uh, had a lot of backpacking experience, but I wanted a refresher, so I signed up to a three-day long-distance hiking course with a female outdoor guide here in Quebec. It was amazing. I also read lots of books like Pacific Crest Trials by Zach Davis and Carly Mori, and um, Long Trails, Mastering the Art of the Through Hike by Liz Thomas. That's really good too. I also spoke to tons of through hikers on Instagram, listened to hours of podcasts, signed up to the spinning gym, as you know, and more. All of these initiatives helped me strengthen my skill set and believe in myself a bit more. But I bought the most expensive Buffy anyway, because it was purple. The second way to believe more in yourself is to build integrity. More than just having a goal, you need to commit to it and sign a contract with yourself. Then you need to organize your whole life around that goal. When you plan to take a step that's going to take you closer to your goal and you actually follow through, that's when you build integrity. It can be with training like we talked about last week. If you plan to go running, for example, and you actually do it, you build integrity. If, uh, for example, you make a budget to save money before you hike and this means you need to go out less, you build integrity when you see yourself turn down offer to go to the restaurant. You also build integrity when you see yourself cook a meal instead of ordering takeout. You start thinking, hmm, I'm serious about this. Maybe I can do it. If you plan something with a friend and they don't show up, you lose trust in them. It's the same with yourself. Show up for yourself and you will build belief. Now, you're not going to be perfect. I miss training sometimes, but don't beat yourself up. Just try again the next day. The third way to believe in yourself more is to talk to your brain more than you listen to it. Let me explain. On trail, when I was struggling, usually on a steep climb or around 3 p.m. when I'd been hiking for six to eight hours, 
hours already and I had a lot of miles left ahead of me, my brain would start telling me things like, you should have woken up earlier. Why don't you wake up with sunrise like all the others? We would make it to camp earlier. What's wrong with you? You're not fast enough. Stop taking so many breaks. Obviously those thoughts didn't help me get to camp earlier. Unless I did rage hiking and walked super fast. But that's not a very good mindset to be in. Anyway, the idea is that when this happens, you need to realize that you're in a spiral of thoughts just intangible thoughts that cannot hurt you unless you engage with them. I like to imagine that they are balloons floating around me. So there's the balloon of wake up earlier and there's the balloon of 20 miles is not enough. You have two choices. You can either grab the string and float away in the sky with the balloon and have a discussion with it. Or you can just look at the balloons floating around you until they float away in the sky. So on trail when that happened, I tried not only to not float away with my balloon, but also to tell my brain what I wanted it to believe. It's helpful in those times to have one or two mantras that you can repeat to yourself, like tools in your belt that you can use whenever you need to stay present and in control. In Washington, I found my favorite mantra, which is, yes, it's tough, but you're tough enough. I repeated it so often that I almost want to get it tattooed now because it helped me so much. So you can try different mantras until you find one that's uniquely suited to you. Be aware that when I tell you not to listen to your brain, I don't mean don't be curious about what it's telling you and where the thoughts are coming from. I think it's important to observe those balloons, but just don't take them for the truth. The truth is what you decide to believe, and I decided to believe I'm tough enough. So that's it for this week. Next week, we're gonna go even deeper in the same direction and discuss limiting beliefs and unconscious commitments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.